right, it's pandemonium time, baby. Wait, you don't know what pandemonium is? Pandemonium is the world's largest gathering of pond professionals in the entire world. We have people from Russia, we have people from Canada, we have people from Africa, we have people from all over the USA. I think there's 500, 600 people here and they've all come to learn from each other and from us. So we have all kinds of crazy things going on. We started off with a pond tour. They got to go around, check out all kinds of different projects that we've built. We have a wetland going in. We have an intake bay going in. We revealed the artist of the year with the new giant fountainscape. I'm doing a class inside in the next five minutes on swim ponds and Pond. We have a rec pond in the back and then training throughout the entire day. Chris Hansen is doing foreman training. There's even going to be a waterfall building competition. Whoo, that's a lot of stuff. You guys hang on tight. Check all of this stuff out. If you're a contractor and you want to get into this, make sure next year you put on your calendar pandemonium, baby, because it's so much fun. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. a lot of fun this is all brian's idea so i hope this whole thing works you guys are going to see the best jesse redmond you're going to see the best fountainscape i have ever seen in my life it's the perfect thing coming in here it's the best gift anybody could ever give me this ponds and water feature <laughs> Awesome guys. So like Greg said, I've been thinking about this water feature for quite some time, a little bit over a year, year and a half now. How about now? What about now? What about now? How about now? <laughs> All right. So like Greg said, I've been thinking about this water feature for a little over a year and a half. I was always a little disappointed as I drove into Aqualand and didn't see something really, really impressive. I always thought we needed to see something really impressive. And what used to be here was a putting green. There was some bushes and a little putting green and it didn't say Aquascape at all. So we had a customer one time ask me, Brian, is there an urn any larger than the large urn? And I said, no, but let me see what I can do. So I called Dave Kelly. I said, Dave, how hard would it be to get an eight foot urn? He said, well, not very hard at all. The challenge is, is if we get one, you have to get about 20 of them because we have to fill in an entire container. I think we sold out the first truckload in five minutes. A bunch of DACs came together, bought the eight foot urn. I saved three for myself for this area back here. So we have three large eight foot urns sitting over here with multiple 15,000, 12,000 pound boulders all huddled around it. I wanted to do it not as just a feature, I wanted to do it as a tribute garden to all of the past artists of the year and I wanted those past artists to come in together and collectively put their minds together a little bit off of my vision but then they take my vision to their fullest potential and that's what they've created here. I also thought this would be a perfect time to announce the new artist of the year. Are you guys excited about that? Yeah. And so are these guys back here and so you know every year the way we choose the next artist of the year it's not my decision it's these guys decision back here. Each artist chooses their top three their number one gets five points their number two gets three points their number three gets one point whoever gets the most points becomes the new artist of the year. Everybody this year it was a landslide on who the artist of the year was but I will tell you this every year more and more names are getting thrown into the mix and I think what's happening is the bar is raising and raising and raising and you guys are getting better and better and better and better there was about 30 total people that were chosen in the top 15 finalists it's getting better and better and better and better you guys are doing incredible incredible work i'm inspired by all of you guys i love all the posts you guys share but this artist not only inspired myself he inspires these guys and i know for a fact you guys are inspired by some of the work that he's been doing are you guys ready to hear the new artist of the year the new artist of the year the one who has inspired all of us throughout the year is none other than ralph bezaz Ralph, 
Are you ready to see, are all of you ready to see what the past artists of the year have put together for you and all of the future artists of the year? Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. drop that claw. He drove all the way from Minnesota because he's got a super cool job at Sherp USA. So he's going to be giving rides in the back corner all day long. Make sure you get a ride in the coolest off-road machine ever. It's a Russian-built machine, right? No, it's not Russian. It's a Ukrainian-built machine. <laughs> Capable off-road machine on the planet, so we're gonna be going through the mud, going through this pond that he's got over there, and try to have a good time. Chris from Team Aquascape along with the rest Woo! of Team Aquascape back here and a hell of a lot of CACs ready today. Woo! And all these CACs over here, they're up! You guessed it, it is the waterfall contest time. We bumped it up early. Normally we do it in the afternoon, but today, based on impending weather, we are going to go ahead and crank it out this morning. So we're gonna get sloppy, dirty, and have a hell of a good time. Yeah! We're gonna go through introductions, ground rules, and all that stuff real quick. So I'm gonna put the camera down, and then we'll get back at it. Hey, my name is Chris Hansen, Team Aquascape Foreman. Work alongside all these wonderful people you see standing right here. First of all, thank you so much for being here. I can't tell you how flippin' excited I am. So we just got through introductions. It was awesome. I love seeing the teammates talk about each other. It's way easier to do that, I think, than talk about ourselves. So that was so much fun. Now we have already separated the couple hundred people back here into their respective teams. So they're all going through introductions, meeting each other for the first time. And we're gonna lay down some ground rules and then go ahead and get this party started. Team Aquascape, we're here at Aqualand, the headquarters of Aquascape, and I'm standing on top of our lily trough. And you guys can remember way back in, I think, December where we built this thing. And the whole idea was just to showcase a ton of different water lilies. So we have tropical lilies in here. We have hardy water lilies. We have our one visas. We've got some new hybrids I can't wait to tell you about a little bit later. But the biggest thing we didn't do with this because it was the end of the year last year is really throw a filter system on it. And if you take a look at the water quality, you can see it's nothing like 
like our normal ponds. When you look at our normal ponds, you should be able to throw a quarter on the bottom of this thing and tell me if it's heads or tails. In here, I can't even tell where the pots are for the lilies. So not only do we need to get a filter on this thing, but we need some circulation. So this year for Pondemonium, one of the big builds is the wetland filter that's gonna go on here. And not just a wetland filter, we're gonna build an intake bay down at the end. So I have to do a whole pumping system down at the end, send water from there all the way down to that end over here, where we've got a whole crew of guys prepping and getting ready for our wetland filter. Let's go check that out. So down at the end here, you can see the guys from Premier Landscape. My good friend Jeff Mir came through for me on the very, very last minute and is starting to build me the foundation or the outside wall for a wetland filter that's gonna sit inside. The goal is during Pondemonium, we come in here, we build a wetland filter in this space. And I think what I'm gonna do is have two waterfalls. A waterfall come in right here and a waterfall come in right over in here. That'll give us the circulation. So water pushing from this end, pulling from that end, and more importantly, getting a huge, huge wetland filter on this thing. That should give us that quarter test. So I can't wait when this is all done to be able to flip that quarter and you guys tell me, is it heads or tails? All right guys, so the next time you'll see me, there'll probably be 50 to 100 contractors sitting behind me, all helping me build this wetland. I can't wait for you guys to see what this is gonna look like when we're all finished. So we have kicked things off. DK, what do you think so far, man? Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> First time for me in person. Super excited. All these guys and gals teaming up. It's gonna be an amazing day. Really excited to see what they come up with. And I'm inspired. I hope you are too. This is a lot of fun. As you can see, we've got everybody going ahead and starting to put their aqua basins in. about this project though is that anybody that's going to be running into a formal feature that wants to put a wetland on it this is really good for them to see because it's merging the two things together and down there they're actually just fitting a skim pole right into that whole trough down there so it's going to be pretty cool what yeah do you guys i think, think? it's yeah. oh, i think it'll be a, it's, it's a great learning experience yeah I think it kind of ties in well with the new rec pond where we've got the marriage of formal with a natural side. So it'll kind of give people an idea of how that may have come together since they didn't get to see all that. So I think it's gonna be a fun project. The interaction, those are the tight spots. I think that's where you'll give more to the guys that are out here working is how you make the interaction between the man-made and the, the formal and the informal stuff and the seams and all of that. That's where people usually miss the trick. Is. Well, it's great too for, for new guys to see because a lot of guys will walk up to this at a customer's house and turn it down. Now that they get to see it, put hands on, it's, you know, yeah, makes, they know it's beautiful. It's a good percentage of guys who might not have seen here before either, so today's gonna be a good all around. And wetland calculations because a lot of people just don't know how to figure it out. I love working amongst all of us, talking with these guys, because each one of us, different regions, different stuff that we do, we've all got a way that we do it. I mean, talking about the artists of the year, we all have our own specs and our own ways that we tweak stuff over the years. So it's, I enjoy picking your guys' brain as well about the different stuff that they do. And you mean we all don't the just slight, make shit up as we the go? The slight <laughs> nuances between what you do and what we do. See the difference why. is we're really good at adapting and overcoming. That's why Brian threw some of this. Yeah. Solvers. <laughs> thanks, well, Brian. Be done. Yeah, thanks, Brian. <laughs> Love you, man.
so impressed and I'm beyond pleased. I'm almost at a loss for words, almost, at just the energy and the cooperation that all of the certified aquascape contractors have in working together. They are absolutely cruising through all the rock and working together almost seamlessly. We've seen a couple head scratching moments between teams, but it's so much fun. The team aquascape guys and girls have done a fantastic job kind of keeping things organized and keeping things moving forward. So why don't we go around and take a look at some of the waterfalls and see what some of our attendees are up to and how they're enjoying the day. Let's go. Team 19 down here. The basin is already finished. I love it. I love seeing it when guys are building from the bottom up. I love coming around the corner and starting to see the finish work happening. I really love that. That's the detail stuff. The stuff that really takes it from a seven to a 10, just through paying attention to all that finesse work. And these guys are, they already have the basin graveled. Looks like they're working from the bottom up, which is the way we normally build. So really, really pleased with how this looks. How are you guys having, are you guys having fun over here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we're having a great time. Yeah, Excellent it. time. Where are you guys from? Bannersonville, New York. New York? Reno, Nevada. Reno, Nevada? Yes, sir. You know, somebody said one time that money can't buy love, Definitely but they've never been to Reno, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah. I got that. Okay. So we got Reno? <laughs> yeah, New York, Nevada? Long Island, New Long York. Island? I couldn't tell. Really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love it. Where are you guys from? Oh, you're from Boston. Oh, man. So we got all over the country represented over here. Actually, all over the world is represented. We've got some Brits over here. We've got a guy from Jamaica. It truly is a worldwide industry and I just love seeing everybody together this is incredible are you guys having fun absolutely yeah do you guys have any words for the camera uh, you gotta sure. come to pandemonium next year absolutely sure. phenomenal gotta be there it's not report not recommended it's mandated all right let's keep rolling huh let's go see what else is cooking all right, so I think this team has maybe the youngest guy working out here. Who yeah. are you? No, you're not the youngest? No, nope. oh. he is. You are? Oh, well, you guys are brothers, aren't you? Yeah. Come here. All right, so we've got brothers working, not side by side, but competing against each other. Is this wild or what? Yeah. yeah. Is it? What's your name? Jackson. Jackson? Jason. Jackson and Jason. And you guys are from Nevada as well, yeah. right? Yeah. That's awesome. You came up here with your mom and your dad. Yeah. Right? Ponds by May? Yeah. That's awesome. I met your mom and dad at, I think it was one of the academies yeah. back in January and I've seen you guys in pictures because of course parents talk about their kids all yeah. the time but I'm super excited for you guys you guys having fun yep. yes sir are you staying hydrated on that thing yeah that's awesome well, who do you think's gonna win so obviously us yeah obviously us yeah. you guys let us know what you think <laughs> thanks good job guys appreciate you Bro. Look at this, that's Woo! awesome. I love the energy, that was heavy. So what's cool is, is like I said earlier, we've got CACs from all over the globe. Aaron over there is actually from only about what? 30 20, minutes north. 30 minutes north out of Vernon Hills. We met last year? Yep. No, this year. This January. year in one of the academies. So super, super cool to see those guys and girls coming back and participating in a much bigger event like Pondemonium and putting into action what we've always preached about. One through five, again, is the lunch is ready and it's under the covered parking. still dodging raindrops by looking at the radar, but we have our first team to fire up their waterfalls. What do you guys think? I'm not gonna show the viewers out here, but what do you guys think? You guys are the first waterfalls to get running. Awesome. How do you guys feel about that? Teamwork? Number seven. Number seven, that's the one? <laughs> What were some of the, I know it's still pretty fresh, right? And you know, the eyes are still big because you're focused on this, but what were, what are some of the things that you took away from this morning? This is a group. Did any of you guys know each other going no, into this? No. 
So see, we are not lying out there when we say it's completely <laughs> random. But what, what were some of your takeaways from this experience? Everybody had different aspects that they were better at to help in certain things. So and that's, respect that's what, each yeah, other. that's what we sound. Yeah, we're definitely. Back. Like uh, everyone's opinion matters. Yeah, we yeah. were we were kind of doing more of the plant stuff, and then the guys were lifting the rocks and everything. It was just an awesome experience. Everybody took like great parts. You know, hey, what does this look like from that angle and everything? And so we it was all respect each other's opinion. Yeah. Everybody had an opinion. Yeah, everybody. We learned from each other. Other ideas like oh that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Compromised yeah. on a lot of yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Compromise? Yeah. Compromise? Yeah. Compromise even on the changes. Like yeah. we made a change. Not one and it person was, like, was right. Yeah. 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 Not only one person was right. Yeah. I mean yeah. communication to me yeah. was like a big thing for everybody. We all communicated and I mean it just it went Very smooth. Very I think that's that's so huge too. It, especially when you have a team of individuals that have never worked together before. There's that chemistry that isn't always necessarily built in right from the get-go. So the fact that this group right here, this amazing group of talent that people yeah. from all over the place came together and they got their waterfall done first is a huge huge milestone and you guys should be really proud of yourselves Thank i you. can see it i think it looks incredible Thank so you. great job great job hey we're gonna keep going as people start firing up their waterfalls and getting what their takeaways were for the day but it's so neat to see always the first one running and just the fact that they're all smiling and they did a great job working together can't say enough about the camaraderie that builds the chemistry amongst all these total strangers so super super exciting can't wait to see what more happens as we start turning more waterfalls on. So our intake base skimmer is finished. It really turned out great. I love the way everything just kind of melded together and it looks like it belongs here, the way the caps are placed and that center cutout, you can see the water just drawing perfectly through there. It's got great suction. Inside here, we've got a layer of a mat on top of our aqua blocks. This is gonna be a messy pond. These are all lilies and they shed quite a bit. So this will have debris in it constantly. Putting the metal mat there makes it so they can pull out those sheets, hose them out and put them back in without having to worry about all the gravel spilling into the aqua blocks. We hit our pump vault back behind this retaining wall here just kind of finishing the whole look so you're not looking at plumbing and wires and all that kind of stuff I think it turned out great and it's a huge compliment to what they did down at the other end down the far end here Alan and the boys they incorporated a more natural element using the boulders coming out of the constructed wetlands I think they did a fantastic job fusing the formal and the natural together Let's see what Alan has to say all right so two days ago Brian said to us he needed our help to do his wetland class he said there's a hole out front just take care of it as a collective group that was here with all of us I think we uh, pulled it off pretty good. What do you think, John? I think it was pretty awesome, man. Everybody got together. There's a ton of people, and everybody just got hands on deck and got dirty, and there was no button heads. I mean, it's the same as always. You got 20 guys in there that are used to being in charge of everything, and we all just work well together. We just all did what needed to be pitching. done. And yeah. yeah, really. It was supposed to be build a wetland and get the water moving in this lily pond, and there it is. Voila. What, what is think? a short day. You guys want to yeah, add? Less than, I think it was a great learning experience for new guys, especially this, the rock work built in the hardscape does. I think it's a nice tie-in to what we've got going on with the new rec pond back there. This is a formal structure with the aquascape components integrated and a natural aspect so I think it was good to see how that probably came together there since no one really got to watch that so this was a really nice segue for everything. Yeah. You know one of the cool things was too is that we had a huge downpour and this is exactly what happens on a job so for these new guys that are just coming in they need to understand that sometimes you got to push through so even though it was muddy and a little miserable for fit we still accomplished yeah. all this in a short time. It was a perfect mix of literally everything in a tiny in a small project. Yeah. Big rocks, seam, bulkheads, yeah, bulkheads, plumbing, wetland, aqua blocks, snorkel centipede, everything. Yeah. It was yeah. like a Sounds like a easy if you say it that. <laughs> I mean, it's just a good yeah, mix simple. of everything for, yeah. for new Can we even managed yeah. to get three inches of waterfall out of the whole thing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Hey guys, this is incredible. First thing that comes to mind is just thank you. I know I got put in a little bind over there. Also knew I could just come to you and say, hey, can you? And without even hesitation, I didn't even tell you what, and you guys just said, yeah, sure, no problem. So what's awesome is not only are you guys extremely talented people, I consider you all my friends. Like that was so awesome that you did this for. I know also know that Greg is super proud of this. Greg has wanted this lily trough thing for years and years and years, and he always pictured a wetland up here on top, and it looks incredible. It's better than I could have ever, ever visualized. It's so awesome. And the plumbing looks kind of good too. <laughs> <laughs> I also think the way the class went, so many people learned from this situation. People being able to put wetland filters onto existing features, people being able to put intake bays onto existing features, it actually turned into an awesome educational event. And so every CAC that was here, I know thanks you guys too. A lot of them came up to me over the last couple of days and said this was one of the best things that they've done during Pondemonium. So thanks guys, that was really awesome. You're welcome. <laughs>